Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I recorded. I'm kind of nervous. What the fuck? It don't even feel right. I don't forgot how to record. But as y'all can tell by the title, today's video, I'm going to be doing a girl talk. Like 10 red flags in men when dating or in a relationship. 10 red flags. I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm going to get straight into the video. Basically, I'm going to just be telling y'all a couple of red flags that I noticed in men. Like in guys, boys, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, over the time because it seem like I attract red red flags so over time i done figured out the game a little bit i know a little something, something. i'ma just be telling y'all a couple of red flags that i noticed when talking to these niggas i mean talking to these men now i would do a green flag video after this but i couldn't really think of no damn green flags y'all just all red just playing but for real uh, i'ma do a green flag video after this one probably i'ma name 12 red flags but i really can name 1200 and i can name after that because the damn show is a lot but i'm just gonna get straight into the video so yeah so number one the first red flag that i'm gonna say is saying i love you or i miss you too early on like if you talk to somebody and they just randomly say buy that cause but just randomly say i love you and you just gotta think to yourself like how how then and that is a red flag right there or like he say i miss you and you like miss what <laughs> like what do you miss what could you possibly miss I'm gonna tell you, he really just saying that so he can get you to thinking that he really attracted to you and really like you just so you can start acting like you really fucking with him. So now he feel like he got you attached or you really messing with him now because he told you he love you. Cause it's like when somebody say I love you, that's a strong word. So it's like they feel like we automatically just feel like they being genuine. But he really just doing that. Basically just speed stuff up, get you closer to him. Just get him closer to whatever he want from you. Do not fall for the bullshit. I repeat, do not fall for the bullshit. The I love you bullshit, do not believe it. If somebody tell you I love you, say why. Say how. When you find out? How did you find out? Like, I want to know everything. <laughs> he say he miss you. Um, How do you know you miss me? How did your heart feel when you said <laughs> No, for real though, because I really asked that. Niggas say I miss you and I be like, why? What you miss? Because, yeah, don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. Okay, y'all, so second red flag. The second red flag. <laughs> take a guess y'all if his phone is on do not disturb red flag if a nigga got his phone on do not disturb you might as well put your shit on that too and go do whatever the hell you want to do because he 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 got that phone on do not disturb for a reason don't be a dumbass his phone not really on do not disturb because he don't want to be disturbed or he just so busy that he don't want his phone to be ringing well i don't know because some y'all i'm not the do not disturb type of person you gonna look at your notifications anyway so but if his phone on do not disturb especially at night his ass is doing something he ain't got no business doing he entertaining somebody he ain't got no business entertaining this is exactly what's going down and if you a boy and you watching this don't try to come at me y'all know i'm right y'all phone be on do not disturb because y'all don't be wanting that notification to pop up when y'all out here entertaining y'all little flings and stuff so then you gotta argue with the other girl like who is that and then the person you really trying to protect yourself from the reason you got your phone on do not disturb they feel like they can just sneak and respond like they so busy it's bullshit complete bullshit don't be a dumbass once again do not be a dumbass okay so the third red flag that i have is no standards a man with no standards now what i mean by a man with no standards is you don't stand for nothing you easily influence say if they with their homeboys and stuff they gonna follow behind what they homeboys doing if they homeboys doing the wrong thing they gonna do the wrong thing if it's not a man that's gonna stand up you know be real don't follow behind what every other man doing just because that's what they think cool or make them a man hell no nah. i thought a damn deal was behind me i just seen it over there and i done lost it Shit. So yeah, a man with no standards. You gotta stand for something or you gonna fall for anything. These niggas gonna fall for anything. <laughs> to you, he's saying he don't mess with these type of females, but when they out hoeing and stuff, they gonna mess with that type of female and they gonna do something with them because they ain't got no standards. They can't control themselves. They can't stand up and not do it because that's what they seeing every other man doing. Just fucking around, thinking that they gotta mess with every female because it's cool or whatever. 
just want a lot of attention. Don't have no control over themselves. Anything. If you not standing up for what you know is right just because you want to fit in or you think that it's cool, it's lame, and you just ain't got no standards. And I don't want to mess with nobody who can't control themselves or don't stand for nothing on their own. Not being influenced by the world. What the world see is cool. Red flag. So the next red flag is man that don't make time for you or don't put in no effort. If you talking to somebody and y'all claim y'all mess with each other heavy, they not gonna wanna go too long without seeing each other. Cause like, who really wanna text all day? Who wanna text all day? Nobody really wanna text all day. So if they not making an effort to see you or just making an effort at all, then it's a red flag because why am I here? Why are you there? If he's so busy that he can't make time to see you, he definitely making time to go see somebody. Niggas not just out here alone by themselves, not doing that. I think niggas think females look like clowns, but um, yeah, hell no. Nah. Shit for the birds. These niggas are nobody is out here just alone. Well, no boy. I just don't see it. If they not making time, it's because somebody else must be getting that time from them. And that's just a no. Just no. You always gonna make enough time. Like even if you don't have enough time, you gonna have some type of time to squeeze in the person that you really mess with, that you fuck with. You gonna find time to be around them and stuff if you really like them. Keep that in mind. They not trying to come see you, making no effort. Cut it off, it's dead. You mess it with somebody else. <laughs> Okay, so the next red flag is a man with no goals. If you got goals and you talking to somebody trying to have a relationship and they don't have goals and they just sit around all day not trying to, you know, get towards something, it's going to end up draining you in the end because while you trying to reach your goals, you got somebody that you trying to care about and by them not having goals and want to do nothing, it's going to weigh you down because... You feel like you still gotta still gotta cater to that person, but they not doing nothing. They not getting up and being productive. And you know, you be around the person for too long. That's gonna start weighing down on you. Now both of y'all unproductive with no goals. So you know, I think about it like, just put yourself first. Don't put yourself in no situation that you know in the end gonna end up hurting you more than anything. That happened is gonna be temporary, but if you put yourself first and you see this, from the start, then you can just end it right there. Wouldn't even get too deep. And I see, yeah, you can help your partner to be better, but at the end of the day, a person with no goals, it's really not gonna be nothing another person can tell them how to get goals or what goals to try to reach because they are gonna have to be within and they gonna have to figure that out within they self. So you just don't want that type of energy around because it can bring you down. Them not having goals or nothing to look forward to, they get to people like, People might not say it, but it affect you mentally. And you know, men are nonchalant. They don't like to speak up, but I know, we know, we be knowing. It's stuff that men be dealing with too, and they not gonna wanna talk about it. So you just gonna be trying to, it's like you just gonna be trying to get that out of them and try to help them. And it ain't gonna be nothing you can do. So it's gonna end up draining you in the end. So yeah, basically it's just, it's a red flag because you wanna put yourself first. And in the long run, it's gonna end up failing because they not striving for nothing. You trying to get somewhere and another person not, and y'all trying to become one, it's just not gonna work. We all gotta be on the same page. If it's not on the same page, it's just not gonna work. The next red flag is a man that never take you out places. You've been talking to somebody for a little while and y'all never go out nowhere. Like you haven't been on no dates. Not even just big dates. Y'all ain't even been to a restaurant. Y'all ain't been to the damn park. Y'all ain't walked up the damn street together. Just anything. He don't want to spend quality time with you. That is a red flag. That is a red flag, homegirl. That is a red flag. Because if you working towards getting into a relationship with somebody and y'all ain't been going out or nothing, haven't been doing nothing, what you think gonna happen when y'all actually get in a relationship? In the beginning, that's when you gonna be doing the most, showing you what you getting into. And if he not doing that, y'all not going out places then, he don't really want you. Who the hell wanna just lay up all the time, not doing nothing, never do nothing? It's gonna get played out and it's just gonna be a waste of time, so why not end it short? It's just that one thing that he want from you. And I'm pretty sure we all know what I'm talking about. Let's say it together, y'all. One, two, three. He trying to. The next red flag, and I hate it. I hate it so much because a lot, a lot of you niggas do that shit. Why the fuck y'all be doing that? No, y'all be lying. No, damn well, y'all. Ooh, 
trying to convince you that he's a good guy slash telling you what you want to hear and i mean saying exactly what you want to hear you could be talking to him and you just like it sound too good to be true you think it to yourself i know this is too good to be true ain't no way he doing everything or no way he really think like this don't second guess yourself you are damn right it is too good to be true uh, -uh. a nigga telling you something and you think it's too good to be true believe it. it's too good to be true it don't happen out here like that i don't know where you have to go to find it but it is it, not around here so but yeah trying to convince you that he's just so good and so loyal he don't do nothing he stay at home uh all i do is all i do is play the game be with their homeboys them whole ass homeboys them whole ass homeboys and you think i think you not doing nothing Come on now. Don't believe none of them. Know what Rodway said. Sweet little lies. All that sweet shit, the lies. All of it. Every last word that he say. Don't even let the sentence start. Bullshit. I call bullshit. <laughs> no, but yeah, it be lies. I don't even know what to say. If you really don't feel it when he said that he telling the truth, then don't believe it because it's not. It's not. It is not. Trust me. He's just saying that so he can reel you in and make you think that everything good and that he really fuck with you when he really out here fucking with 50 more girls the same way telling y'all the same thing it's just to make you think that you got him you don't have a goddamn thing you don't have a piece of man telling you what you want to hear so he can get what he want to get and so the next red flag that i have is very very obvious only text at night if you got a man i meant if you think you got a man and he only takes you at night you and I both know exactly, exactly what he want. So I don't even have to say it. He just want. I mean, he don't want nothing else from you but a, a little. No, for real. That's what he wants. So that shouldn't even fly past y'all heads right there. If you fall for that, I should just knock your ass upside your damn head. What the hell can you do at night other than? Yeah, I'm just gonna go on to the next one because. Okay, so the last red flag that I'm gonna do in this video is he doesn't want to get to know you. Anybody that you talk to, you gonna wanna get to know them. You gonna wanna know the little stuff, anything about that person. If they don't wanna get to know you, it's because they too busy getting to know somebody else. You not the person that they actually see they self with or wanna be with in a relationship. How can you get in a relationship with somebody that you barely know? I had niggas try to get in a relationship with me. Holly can't even tell me my last name. My first name, real name, my birthday, like little stuff like that, that you should know about somebody you saying you in a damn relationship with. It's like, if you not having real life conversations with somebody that you want to be in a relationship with, anything, big stuff, small stuff, anything, because you find out something about your partner or they find out something about you, it's because y'all didn't get to know each other. And if y'all would have did that, it would have saved a lot of conflict. So if they not trying to get to know you, it's a red flag off the rip. Because why don't you want to know me? Like, what the hell? So yeah, red flag. Leave that shit alone. But yeah, y'all, that's the last red flag that I'm going to do for this video. More videos on the way. I'll be doing some other stuff when the right time comes. So yeah, just stay tuned for my channel. And yeah, subscribe. Let me know if y'all want a part two or any other video. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. The content will get better and better over time. Just stay tuned for my journey on YouTube, y'all. I don't see myself completely stopping on here no time soon. So y'all going to see my growth and I'm going to see. We're going to see it together. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Can't get you out of my outer